to burst your bubble, but about half of America's solid waste comes from discarded packaging. And finding a way to keep materials like styrofoam out of the landfills is a big job. Todd, you're trying to recycle styrofoam? Where's it coming from? Okay. I did some research and found out that with all the styrofoam used in packing electronics, mm -hmm. wine, furniture, and all sorts of things, this was one huge waste problem. Tim Brown International has a process to recycle. We'll actually upcycle all this production waste and turn it into a new product. And I'm really curious to see how they do that. They're in Stockton, so I'm on my way there. I'm at Tim Brown International. Finally, I'm gonna find out how this stuff gets recycled. This warehouse is loaded, jam-packed with styrofoam. Where is it all coming from? Well, right now we get it from all over the country, but what we're doing that's extremely unique is working with local government and industry partners to create styrofoam recycling programs. So, for example, in Los Angeles, you can now throw your polystyrene in your blue bin, and then we take that. The hope is that we can replicate that nationwide. There's tons of styrofoam here in the warehouse, but none of it is going to the landfill. In fact, all of it's going to be recycled. That I got to see. It starts out as this, and this is styrofoam. It's very, very light. Yes, it's extremely light. The challenge with recycling polystyrene is actually the transportation of the polystyrene to our facility here. Right. It's not very cost effective to transport puffy air. Exactly. So what we do is we work with companies that will actually turn it into this. And that makes it much more economical to ship. Should I put these on? Yes. Yes, put them on. Okay, so this is the densifier. This is actually the first step of the process here. Whoa! Oh, it just heats it up. I feel like it might. It comes out, it comes out quite slow. Oh, that's it. This, that this is, is it. Cool. Then what do you do with it? This is our shredder operation here. This is where we take those blocks, and inside of here is a large drum that's shredding and chopping the material. Wow. It sounds like a roller coaster. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. This is wild. The next process is that we actually, when we turn it into a pellet, inside of that barrel is a screw acting as an auger. So a heated corkscrew. Yes. It's melting it and turning okay. it into a thick liquid. And we are pushing the material through a plate that has a lot of small holes in it. Imagine like a Play-Doh spaghetti factory. Right. And it's creating little beads as it's coming out. We use the water to cool it down. OK. And the water recirculates through. OK, so you're reusing the we're water? Reusing the water. Oh, and these are the brand new resin pellets? They're, They're hot. They're warm. They're warm. A lot of recycling companies will stop there and make just a pellet. But we'll take it another step and actually turn it into a product. And we are currently producing various types of moldings that people can install inside their home. So here's a crown molding that you might see up in the ceiling. So you tell me that these little beads become this material? Over 90% of it is recycled polystyrene okay. originating from material like this. That is really cool. So this is the final process. We're going to take those pellets, and here we're going to melt it down again and push it through a die. And then inside of this machine would be a saw that's going to cut it to the correct length. There it goes. Oh, wow. Really fast. Yes. It reminds me of my dentist. <laughs> I don't like that sound. How long is this? Right now we're doing 12 foot pieces, but we can do any length people want just as long as we can actually ship it. We'll add the barcodes for the store, package it up, and get ready to go on a truck. Zion, I want to really thank you. This has been incredible. Seeing the styrofoam turn into a product is fantastic. Finally, I got to find out how styrofoam is recycled. All of this styrofoam is being converted into something that we can use in our home.